പി എസ് സി നേഴ്സിൻ്റെ പ്രീവിയസ് സോൾഡ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ പേപ്പർ വീഡിയോയിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം ഈ വീഡിയോയിൽ മുപ്പത് ഒന്ന് രണ്ടായിരത്തി പതിനഞ്ചിൽ നടന്ന ജൂനിയർ പബ്ലിക് ഹെൽത്ത് നേഴ്സ് എക്സാമിൻ്റെ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ പേപ്പറിൻ്റെ അവസാന ഭാഗമാണ് നമ്മൾ ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഈ പാട്ടോടുകൂടി ആ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ പേപ്പർ തീരുകയാണ് ഇതിൻ്റെ മുൻഭാഗങ്ങൾ വൺ ടു ത്രീ പാട്ടുകളിലായി നേരത്തെ ഉൾപ്പെടുത്തിയിട്ടുണ്ട് ഇത് ഇച്ചിരി ലെങ്തി വീഡിയോ ആണ് എല്ലാവരും കാണാൻ ശ്രമിക്കുക പഠിക്കാൻ ശ്രമിക്കുക എക്സാം വളരെ അടുത്തു വന്നുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നു പഠിക്കുന്ന എല്ലാവർക്കും വിജയാശംസകൾ നേരുന്നു കൂടുതൽ വീഡിയോസ് ലഭിക്കുന്നതിനായി പി എസ് സി നേഴ്സ് എന്ന യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്യുകയും അത് നിങ്ങളുടെ ഫ്രണ്ട്സുമായി ഷെയർ ചെയ്യുകയും ചെയ്യുക അവരും നിങ്ങളോടൊപ്പം തന്നെ പഠിക്കട്ടെ നമുക്ക് വീഡിയോയിലേക്ക് കടക്കാം കോസറ്റീവ് ഓർഗാനിസം ഓഫ് ഹുക്കുവം ഇൻഫെക്ഷൻ കോസറ്റീവ് ഓർഗാനിസം ഓഫ് ഹുക്കുവം ഇൻഫെക്ഷൻ ഓപ്ഷൻസ് എ അസ്കാരിസ് ലംബ്രിക്കോയിഡ്സ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ബി സ്റ്റെഫിലോക്കോക്കസോറിസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ സി ആൻസിലോസ്റ്റോമ ഡിയോഡനാക് ഓപ്ഷൻ ഡി സാൽമണല്ല ടൈഫ്മ്യൂറിയം കോസറ്റീവ് ഓർഗാനിസം ഓഫ് ഹുക്കുവം ഇൻഫെക്ഷൻ ഈസ് ആൻസിലോസ്റ്റോമ ഡിയോഡനല്ലെ കോസറ്റീവ് ഓർഗാനിസം ഓഫ് ഹുക്കുവം ഇൻഫെക്ഷൻ ഈസ് ആൻസിലോസ്റ്റോമ ഡിയോഡിനലെ ടെമ്പററി ഓപ്പണിംഗ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ടു ഏട്രിയ ഇൻ ദ ഫീറ്റിൽ ഹാർട്ട് ഈസ് കോൾഡ് ടെമ്പററി ഓപ്പണിംഗ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ടു ഏട്രിയ ഇൻ ദ ഫീറ്റിൽ ഹാർട്ട് ഈസ് കോൾഡ് ഓപ്ഷൻസ് എ ഡക്ടസ് വീനോസിസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ബി ഫൊറാമ നോവലെ ഓപ്ഷൻ സി ഡക്ടസ് ആർട്ടീരിയോസിസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ഡി ഹൈപ്പോഗ്യാസ്ട്രിക് ആർട്ടറി ടെമ്പററി ഓപ്പണിംഗ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ടു ഏട്രിയ ഇൻ ദ ഫീറ്റിൽ ഹാർട്ട് ഈസ് കോൾഡ് ഫൊറാമൻ ഓവലെ ടെമ്പററി ഓപ്പണിംഗ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദ ടു ഏട്രിയ ഇൻ ദ ഫീറ്റിൽ ഹാർട്ട് ഈസ് കോൾഡ് ഫൊറാമൻ ഓവലെ ഡക്ടസ് ആർട്ടീരിയോസിസ് ഡക്ടസ് ആർട്ടീരിയോസിസ് ഓൾസോ കോൾഡ് ഡക്ടസ് ബോട്ടലി ഈസ് എ ബ്ലഡ് വെസൽ ഇൻ ദ ഡെവലപ്പിംഗ് ഫീറ്റസ് കണക്ടിംഗ് ദ ട്രങ്ക് ഓഫ് ദി പൾമൊനറി ആർട്ടറി ടു ദി പ്രോക്സിമൽ ഡിസെൻഡിംഗ് അയോട്ട The ductus arterius is also called the ductus botali. It is a blood vessel in the developing fetus connecting the trunk of the pulmonary artery to the proximal descending aorta. This is the picture shows ductus arterius is. ductus venosus ductus venosus is a shunt that allows oxygenated blood in the umbilical vein to bypass the liver and is essential for normal fetal circulation blood becomes oxygenated in the placenta and travels to the 
trite atrium via umbilical veins through the ductus venus then to the inferior vena cava ductus venous is a shunt that allows oxygenated blood in the umbilical vein to bypass the liver and is essential for normal fetal circulation the blood becomes oxygenated in the placenta and it travels to the right atrium via umbilical veins through the ductus venous then to the inferior vena cava this is the fetal circulation in that you can see that uh, ductus venous foramen ovale the foramen ovale is a small hole located in the septum which is the wall between the two upper chambers of the heart atria before a baby is born it does not use its lungs to get blood rich in oxygen foramen ovale is a small hole located in the septum which is the wall between the two up, upper chambers of the heart atria before baby is born it does not use its lungs to get blood in rich oxygen see the picture of foramen ovale graphic method of recording the silent features of labor options a cholangiography b cervicograph c computerized axial tomography d partograph graphic method of recording the silent features of labor partograph graphic method of recording of silent features of labor partograph cholangiography options namaku nokka cholangiography X-ray examination of the bile ducts used to locate and identify an obstruction. Cholangiography, X-ray examination of the bile duct used to locate and identify the identify an obstruction. Cervicograph A cervicograph is a visual record of the progress of the first stage of labor. It is obtained by plotting cervical dilatation against elapsed time at regular intervals on a piece of squared paper. Cervicograph A cervicograph is a visual record of the progress of the first stage of labor. it is obtained by plotting cervical dilatation against elapsed time at regular intervals on a piece of squared paper computer tomography a form of tomography in which a computer controls the motion of the x-ray source and detectors process the data and produces the image computer tomography a form of tomography in which a computer controls the motion of the x-ray source and detectors 
process the data and produces the image partograph a partogram or partograph is a composite graphical record of key data that is maternal and fetal during labor entered against the time on a single sheet of paper relevant measurements might include statistics such as cervical dilatation fetal heart rate duration of labor and vital signs partograph a partogram or partograph is a composite graphical record of key data that is maternal and fetal during labor entered against on against time on a single sheet of paper relevant measurements might include statistics such as cervical dilatation fetal heart rate duration of labor and vital signs one of the positive signs of pregnancy is options a changes in the uterus b hearing fetal heart rate c abdominal enlargement d uterine contractions one of the positive signs of pregnancy is hearing fetal heart sound one of the positive signs of pregnancy is hearing fetal heart sound the cardinal sign of pre eclampsia is option a raised blood pressure option b abdominal pain option c gastritis option d jaundice the cardinal sign of pre eclampsia is raised blood pressure the cardinal sign of pre eclampsia is raised blood pressure which organ secretes bile options a pancreas b small intestine d liver c liver and d spleen which organ secretes bile option c is the right answer that is liver which organ secretes bile liver perfect apgar score should be perfect apgar score should be options a 9 or 10 B 11 or 12 C 6 or 7 D 14 or 15 Perfect apgar score should be 9 or 10 Option A is right Perfect apgar score should be 9 or 10 perfect apgar score should be options a 9 or 10 option b 11 or 12 option c 6 or 7 option d 14 or 15 perfect apgar score should be 9 or 10 perfect apgar score should be option a is right that is 9 or 10 can go through apgar score i'll explain the apgar score now 
the perfect apcar score should be 9 or 10 apcar means a indicates appearance p indicates pulse g indicates grimace that is flex irritability a indicate activity and r indicates respiration in that appearance if appearance blue or pale giving zero points pink body but uh, blue extremities one point total pink then giving two points in appearance if body looks a like baby looks blue and pale giving zero points pink body and blue extremities one point total pink body that is extremities and uh, body looks pink then giving two points next pulse if pulse absent zero points below 100 beats per minute one point over 100 beats per minute two points in pulse if pulse absent zero points if pulse below 100 beats per minute one point if pulse over 100 beats per minute two points next grimace or flex irritability if floppy zero points minimal response to stimulation one point prompt response to stimulation two points in grimace if baby floppy zero points minimal response to stimulation one point prompt response to stimulation two points activity or muscle tone up if activity is absent zero points flexed arm and legs one point if baby is active two points in activity if activity is absent zero point flexed arms and legs one point if baby is active two points in respiration respiration is absent zero point respiration is slow and irregular one point if baby is vigorously crying two points in respiration if absent zero point slow and irregular one point vigorous cry two points this is the scoring of apgar apgar means appearance a indicates appearance p indicate pulse g indicate grimace a indicate activity and r indicate respiration that is apgar a p g a r Total score of Kapgar is 10 points. We can uh, go through the Kapgar score rating. If severely depressed, 0 to 3 points. Moderately depressed, 4 to 6 points. If baby in excellent condition, 7 to 10 points. 
if baby is in excellent condition 7 to 10 points what abnormal constituent is present in the urine in a case of hypermesis gravidarum options a protein b sugar c ketones and d rbc what abnormal constituent is present in the urine in a case of high premises gravidarium option c is right that is ketones what abnormal constituent is present in the urine in case of high premises gravidarium ketones which of the following is an anti tuberculosis drug which of the following is an anti tuberculosis drug option a chloramphenicol option b rifampicin option c gentamicin option d amoxicillin which of the following is an anti tuberculosis drug option b is the right answer that is rifampicin which of the following is an anti tuberculosis drug rifampicin ATT medicines are or anti tuberculosis drugs are rifampicin isoniazid pyrazinamide and ethambutol anti tuberculosis drugs are isoniazid rifampicin pyrazinamide and ethambutol next question fertilization usually occurs in the option a fundus b isthmus c ambula d corpus fertilization usually occurs in the ampulla fertilization usually occurs in the ampulla fertilization usually occurs in the ampulla kala azar is prevented by controlling options house flies option b rat flies option c ticks option d sand flies kala azar is prevented by controlling sand flies kala azar is prevented by controlling sand flies what is the amount of bleaching powder needed for disinfection 1000 liters of water options a 2 gram option b 3 gram option c 2.5 gram option d 3.5 gram what is the amount of bleaching powder needed for disinfection 1000 liters of water 2.5 gram what is the amount of bleaching powder needed for disinfection of 1000 liters of water 2.5 gram that is option c is right 2.5 gram number of new cases occur ring in a occurring in a defined population is called options a prevalence option b incidence option c seasonal trend option d secular trend number of case, new cases occurring in a defined population is called incidence option b is right number of new cases occurring in a defined population is called incidence number of cases 
occurring in a defined population is called incidence. The sutures in between two parietal bones is called options A. Sagittal B. Coronal C. Lambdoidal D. Frontal The sutures in between two parietal bones is called sagittal. The sutures in between two parietal bones is called sagittal. This is the picture of sutures. First one, coronal suture. Joints between frontal and parietal bone is coronal suture. Sagittal suture joints between two parietal bones. Lambdoid suture joints parietal and occipital bones. Scamo suture joints parietal and temporal bones. First one, coronal sutures. Coronal sutures joints between frontal and parietal bone. Coronal sutures joints between frontal and parietal bone. Second one, sagittal suture. Sagittal suture joints between two parietal bones. Sagittal suture joints between two parietal bones. Third one, lambdoid suture. Lambdoid suture joints parietal and occipital bone. Lambdoid suture joints parietal and occipital bones. Fourth one, scamo suture. Scamo suture joints parietal and temporal bones. Scamo suture joints parietal and temporal bones. Scamo suture joints parietal and temporal bones. That is four main sutures are coronal sutures, sagittal sutures, lambdoid sutures and scamo sutures. Active immunity may be acquired by options A. An attack of disease B. Injection of antiserum C. Injection of gamma globulin D. Maternal antibodies An active immunity may be acquired by An attack of disease Option A is right an active immunity is acquired by an attack of disease. An active immunity may be acquired by an attack of disease. Acquired immunity. Acquired immunity means immunity you developed during your life. Immunity you develop during your life is called acquired immunity. And the two types are there active immunity and passive immunity. In active immunity, natural immunity is there, artificial immunity is there. In passive immunity, also natural and artificial immunity is there. You can go through active immunity. Active immunity, the immunity you develop after being exposed to an infection or from getting a vaccine. Active immunity you develop after being exposed to an infection or from getting a vaccine. In the two types, natural and artificial. Natural immunity Natural active immunity means antibodies made after exposure to an infection. Natural active immunity means the antibodies made after exposure to an infection. In artificial active immunity means antibodies made after getting a vaccination. Active artificial immunity means antibodies made 
after getting a vaccination. The second one is passive immunity. Passive immunity means an immunity you acquire from someone or something else. Passive immunity means immunity you acquire from someone or something else. In that two types is there natural passive immunity and artificial passive immunity. In natural passive immunity antibody is transmitted from mother to baby. Example via mother's milk. In natural passive immunity antibody is transmitted from mother to baby via mother's milk. Artificial passive immunity antibodies acquired from an immune serum medicine. Artificial passive immunity antibodies acquired from an immune serum medicine. This is the picture shows active and passive immunity in that active it's natural immunity vaccination in passive immunity natural and artificial immunity in that natural maternal and artificial is there through this picture you can easily get what is passive and active immunity most important case of diarrhea in infants and children is options a enterovirus option b adenovirus c rotavirus d coronavirus most important cause of diarrhea in infants and children is rotavirus option c is right most important cause of diarrhea in infants and children is rotavirus. Janani Suraksha Yojana is related to options A. ICDS, option B. RCH, option C. WHO, option D. UNICEF. Janani Suraksha Yojana is related to RCH Janani Janani Suraksha Yojana is related to RCH Janani Suraksha Yojana is related to RCH that is reproductive and child health program reproductive and child health program One of the complications intrauterine device insertion. Option A. Weight gain. Option B. Breast tenderness. Option C. Headache. Option D. Bleeding. One of the complications intrauterine device insertion. Answer D is right. Bleeding. One of the complications intrauterine device insertion is bleeding. One of the complications intrauterine device insertion is bleeding. Increase in depth of respiration is called option A. Hyperapnea B. Apnea C. Orthopnea D. Tachypnea. Increase in the depth of respiration is called hyperapnea. Increase in the depth of respiration is called hyperapnea. Increase in the depth of respiration is called hyperapnea. Drugs that cause expulsion of gas from the intestinal tract drugs that cause expulsion of gas from the intestinal tract option a catheterix option b carminatives option c diuretics d expectorants 
drugs that cause expulsion of gas from intestinal tract is option b carminatives is right answer drugs that cause expulsion of gas from the intestinal tract carminatives one of the leading causes maternal mortality rate in india Op options a obstructed labor b ectopic pregnancy c obstetric hemorrhage d eclampsia one of the leading cause of maternal mortality rate in india option a option c obstetric hemorrhage is the right answer one of the leading cause of maternal mortality rate in india obstetric hemorrhage one of the leading causes maternal mortality in india is obstetric hemorrhage freedom from disease causing microorganisms options sepsis b bacteriostasis c antisepsis d asepsis freedom from disease causing microorganisms is asepsis option d is right freedom from disease causing microorganisms asepsis under vitamin a prophylaxis program children between 1 to 6 years are given options a 3 lakh international unit of vitamin a option b 2 lakh international unit of vitamin a option c 2.5 lakh international unit of vitamin a option d 1.5 lakh international unit of vitamin a under vitamin a prophylaxis program children between 1 to 6 years are given 2 lakh international unit of vitamin a under vitamin a prophylaxis program children between 1 to 6 years are given 2 lakh international unit of vitamin a the safe and effective drug against filarial infection is options diethyl carbamazepine option b rifampicin option c ofloxacin option c tetracycline safe and effective drug against filarial infection is option a is right answer diethyl carbamazepine option a is the right answer diethyl carbamazepine the safe and effective drug against filarial infection is diethyl carbamazepine severe bleeding during the third stage of labor option placenta previa b puerperal hemorrhage c postpartum hemorrhage d placental abruption severe bleeding during the third stage of labor option c is right postpartum hemorrhage severe bleeding during the third stage of labor it is postpartum hemorrhage incubation period of mums is option a 4 weeks b 1 week c 4 to 5 weeks d 2 to 3 weeks incubation period of mums is 2 to 3 weeks incubation period of mums is 2 to 3 weeks deficiency of vitamin b12 causes options a pernicious anemia 
ബി ഓസ്റ്റിയോ മലേഷ്യ സി സീറോ ഓഫ് താൽമിയ ഡി ക്വാഷിയോർക്കർ ഡെഫിഷ്യൻസി ഓഫ് വൈറ്റമിൻ ബി ട്വൽ കോസസ് ഓപ്ഷൻ എ പെർണീഷ്യസ് അനീമിയ ഡെഫിഷ്യൻസി ഓഫ് വൈറ്റമിൻ ബി ട്വൽ കോസസ് പെർണീഷ്യസ് അനീമിയ which among the following disease is not due to aedes mosquitoes which among the following disease is not due to aedes mosquitoes option a rift valley fever b malaria c dengue fever d chikungunya fever which among the following disease is not due to aedes mosquitoes malaria which among the following disease is not due to aedes mosquitoes malaria calcium requirement during pregnancy and lactation is option 0.5 g option b 3 gram option c 2 gram option d 1 gram calcium requirement during pregnancy and lactation is 1 gram calcium requirement during pregnancy and lactation is 1 gram option d is right calcium requirement during pregnancy and lactation is 1 World AIDS Day is liberated every year on option A July 11th option B April 7th option C December 1st option D June 5th World AIDS Day is celebrated every year on option C is right that is December 1st World AIDS Day is celebrated every year on december 1st first course of oral on contraceptives should be started in which day of menstruation first course of oral contraceptive should be started in which day of menstruation option a fifth day option b third day option c seventh day option d ninth day first course of oral contraceptive should be started in which day of menstruation option a is the right answer that is fifth day first course of oral contraceptives should be started in which day of menstruation fifth day first course of oral contraceptive should be started in the in which day of menstruation fifth day h1n1 infection spreads through options a contaminated water b droplet nuclei c contaminated fruits and vegetables D infected vector mosquitoes H1N1 infection spreads through droplet nuclei option B is right answer H1N1 infection spreads through droplet nuclei H1N1 infection spreads through droplet nuclei ESA means option A ecologically sensational area B ecologically sensitive authority C eco sensitive area D ecologically sensitive area ESA means ecologically sensitive area ESA means ecologically sensitive area 
Thanks for watching. PC needs in the video list of each channel like a game. Ningle a fifth triangle, Nurde Shangle, comment the box and legacy put the in Chiga. Video can't know each channel, subscribe a game, friends in a share Chiga in Chiga. The Adam videos PC needs in the channel will put the Rikino. Videos repeat either Kanan Srimikiga. Other Ningle or may code the Shakti Pertum. Nana Padikina, eleven come, Nangal Vijayasam Sol Nirno. Nandi Namaskaram.